lovely day everybody welcome to Lorette's studio uh, today I thought I might just fix this painting I've got some really gorgeous colors in here this has already had two um, layers this beautiful shiny I don't know if you can see that see if I can bring this closer it's easier for me to bring you the painting I don't know if you can see that where are we so this area here see that shiny shiny blue it's gorgeous absolutely love that that is a metallic pigment called the blue star series and uh, I'm going to try and preserve that so let's see how we go today I will I've already mixed my resin the resin that I'm using today is called the mad artist resin it is absolutely suitable to me <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using just the white the angel white I'm trying to create some sort of a ocean theme so we'll see how we go with that about equal quantities this piece is um, great it's, it's a MDF board wall is about 10 about 20 it's about 25 centimeters by about 10 20, about about 35 centimeters so what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna um, try and fix it it's always harder to fix things I hate fixing things but I, I also don't really like throwing paintings out so I would rather try and put some effort into it and fix it and sometimes they work out really well so that's the white about 10% going in there I've got the old in the store oh I didn't prepare my sticks look at that too eager to start so okay so I've got um, a, a dusty teal Usually I would say put your pigment powder in first and then your resin. Um, but I haven't done it this time. So it just means that you have to mix it very carefully. This is a um, two-tone pigment. It's called Dusty Teal and you can find it in the shop. It's been there for quite a long time and it's a really really pretty color I think these two tone pigments are really great for creating things where you know creating art rather or even jewelry things like that that uh, you can kind of get two different shades depending on the angle of um, where the lights coming from so that's quite a pretty shade dusty teal so it's got a bit of a blue and a bit of a green in it really really pretty just making sure because I didn't do it properly you know by putting powder in first and then the resin I'm just uh, and mixing it into a paste first a thick paste and then adding more resin to it um, that's why I'm taking extra care to, to mix this but these mix super well so that's that one and I've got a new shade right here. Let me just get my stick. It's called uh, the um, Appetite Blue, which is uh, like a gem blue. If you, <coughs> excuse me. So, well, I don't know if you can see that right. So if you remember me using the peacock dance it's the peacock dance is more more of a blue green and this shade is more of a green blue so there's there's a difference there uh, also a metallic pigment and also mixed by me and uh, it's an authentic and a unique color really mixed with love so I'm just mixing this one and it's going to be perfect for my ocean scene it's been raining which is great for Australia because we uh, haven't had any rain for a long long time and 
Uh, it's uh, quite bad, but look at this color. Seriously, this is perfect for doing ocean scenes. It's, uh, it's a transparent, but add a tiny little bit more to make it more opaque. But then again, it depends on how, you know, how thick you put it on. Any of these, any transparents, if you put it on thick, it'll be a solid color. But I won't be doing that because I've got a lot of white that I'm going to mix with it. So that's that one. This, if you can see, I'm just popping them over here. And mix my angel white, which is an absolute, you know, bloody beautiful, beautiful um, paste. And it creates all kinds of um, super cool things that, um, if you know how to use it right, it uh, works really, really well. It looks after you. You look after it, it will look after you. I always say that. And sometimes it doesn't happen. You know, today is quite uh, wet and the humidity is quite high, so don't know. See, all of these things affect your resin art. The heat, the cold. I've actually got my door open, my windows open for ventilation. And I've got the, the air con blowing hot air <laughs> so that I've got the right temperature in here. But um, we shall see. Don't really know how I'm going to do this. So if I go quiet, don't, um, don't get cranky at me. It's just because I'm concentrating and trying to, to, to do it right. So let's go got some clear which I'm also going to be using so this what is this stuff all over there let me just wipe it again just with my alcohol wipe make sure there's no dust on there I haven't sanded it I never sand the second coat I have been asked this question a lot it just um, resin sticks to resin really well you don't need to you're just going to be wasting your time but if you want to do it because a lot of people do do it go ahead and do it I don't and it's never caused me any problems my god sorry I have to show this again gotta show you again right let's go enough talking I like that area but I, I would like to create some movement here I'm going to add a little bit of clear over here actually I won't I'm going to be adding a little bit of this appetite blue I've tried to level this table as best I can and the circumstances of this table these plastic tables are tables are absolutely horrible I want to have that going over that way creating some kind of a wave it could turn into something completely different but we'll see Wow, this is this shade. Oh my god. Sometimes I'm just amazed at my, my own self, you know, how I created these. Thank God I've got recipes for all of these, but you know, they're just amazing. Right, so we've done that. Let's go here now. Just going to follow that. Over there. I'm using my stick because I want a little bit of control and while I'm doing this I am visualizing and uh, imagining and lots of things going through my head while I'm doing this and uh, if I just kind of poured it would be quicker of course but it's not giving me enough time to to think and this is why I'm doing this I love working on, on uh, MDF boards or any kind of a um, non-porous surface. 
although MDF boards are porous, but you know what I mean, they're nice and flat rather than the canvas which can be a pain for various reasons one is you get that uh, kind of a dent in the in the middle where it bows that there are ways to fix that but it's just such a pain and I just want to paint I don't want to have to I don't have a lot of time to prepare things I just want to get on with it because this is what makes me happy doing this. So I've got some really cool things happening here now. Just this pigment on its own. It's beautiful. Because there are a few shades of different colors in here. You can almost see them. You can almost sort of see them in, in there. Each each one absolutely bloody beautiful. Okay, let's keep going. You're still there, so I was just checking. So oh that drop there. We're just gonna leave it there actually. Maybe it was meant to go there. And I might just go one just here, like that. Love this pigment. I love every color really. They're all so unique and different. Go like that. And uh, maybe a bit over here. Got some here. This was textured by the way. Okay, here we go. I just had to pause it just for a second to have a look and observe. Sometimes, this is what you have to do if you have time, is to pour your painting, your, your resin, sorry, and then watch what the pigments are doing. I tell you, you know, this is, I'm going to try and bring the painting actually up closer to you and try not to spill it and make, make a mess of myself. But don't know if you can see all the little things that are happening up there okay and and this is just the, the pigment it's this is what the pigment is doing now this is all dry there's no clear on there it's just that pigment sitting on there mixed with resin part a and b you know the drill so that is that actually i'm going to go now with this gorgeous gorgeous dusty teal which is like a blue and a green two-tone this is a uh, powder pigment oh and then that happens totally on purpose <laughs> not <laughs> anywho let's go I'm just going to Maybe pour because this cup is a little bit easier to use. Let's see, actually. And I'm going to go maybe over here in a thin stream if I can. And down there. You can see the difference. It's just gorgeous. And this is a pearl pigment. And the Appetite Blue is a metallic pigment paste. So you're using two different types of of pigment and people sometimes ask me if you can do that you can even mix that with your powder with sorry mix the powder with the pigment paste it'll all work once it's like this in a liquid um, form you can do whatever you want just be careful with some pigment paste like if you're not using la res and you're using some different pigment paste just, just um, you know, be careful that you can do that because I don't know what other people put in their paste. They use all kinds of thinners. And um, somebody actually just recently has asked me on in a Facebook group um, what to do because they bought this product from, you know, it's another brand, and all their metallic pigments have dried up. 
and she wanted to know how to fix it and I really couldn't help because it's not my product and I don't know what's in it that's that okay so it's getting a little bit nerve-wracking now because now I have to add the white however I will add some clear on first I want that white to to glide beautifully over here so I'm going to be adding some clear through there and one drop just decided to go I'm really dripping really dripping all over the place today but you know what sometimes it's um, the beauty of it really is um, it helps sometimes it just creates its own its own little story and that's what I think these paintings or any kind of art or creative expression really is it's creating a story and I am creating a story here and I'm just letting it tell the story and I'm just an instrument here and put a little bit up here as well okay so let's go with the white just gonna um, actually I'm gonna test it out over here in this corner that's uh, always a good idea to do test it out on a small corner just to see how it will react and what will happen a little bit across there and a little bit here this is just a clear resin right and now I'm going to go in with the white I'm going to do it like this I'm going to put some of the white here and some of the white over here and there now I'm going to get my heat gun and I'm going to blow it over that way You can even just see the effects there guys just i'll bring you closer just without doing anything this is just that clear uh, over that gorgeous appetite blue don't know if you can see it i hope you can um let's get it down properly all right let's get cracking Now I'm going to leave it, it's already it's pulling back, creating all these gorgeous cells right there, and it's all different. The depth of this is just amazing. Oh my goodness, goodness. Okay, let's go. So let's do it. Let's go over here with the white. boy see what I mean the cup okay let me fix that straight away I need quite a bit of white there no matter how well I level this table it just seemed to be I think because the actual board is a bit crooked and I'm going to add some more of the clear because I want this to create some cool stuff. Help it a little bit just with my finger.
These sales are just unbelievable. Oh, I've got a delivery. So many interruptions. Okay, guys, you can see what I'm talking about here. This is just incredible here. You just don't want to mess with it anyway. You just want to leave it and let it just stay like that. But I have to continue with the rest up here. Shame that I lost that gorgeous blue there. But I still have some here and I'm going to try and preserve that. Okay, this here needs a little bit of something. Definitely. Going to add a little bit of more of that gorgeous blue. And see if I can kind of blow it that way maybe. Let's see. more okay let's just see sometimes it just takes a little bit of fiddling pull back and let it do its own thing and that's exactly what it's doing okay let's go this is exciting Right, let's get some clear. Just over here. I'm going to be adding a lot of white. Just want to help that clear a little bit. See how that color's changing? The dusty teal. It's just amazing. This is going to be really hard to do, but I'm going to give it a real good go. Beautiful. That's looking great there. A little bit more of that clear there. Some more dusty teal there, I think. I've got lots of it, so I may as well. this blue which I might just add a little bit more of the clear to it just to give it um, a little bit extra and make it more transparent I want all of that to be blue we'll be adding the white to it See having the clear underneath in some areas really helps, gives you that uh, dimension and it, uh, it also uh, gives you depth and it helps the movement. Just use my hand now just here on the edge, like that, that's pretty.
I'm just uh, now adding the rest of this clear here. I'm going to create a little bit of movement for me, but I also want to cover this area here and leave that because I've got that beautiful speckly pigment show in here and I don't want to lose that. So if I bring this clear all the way up to the white, it'll it'll go over it and that's not what I want. But because that part there is already lifted, it's it's uh it was part of my texture textured piece. Um, so that's already lifted so the resin goes right up to it and stays there which is good it's what I want leave that there that's already covered need to dig something out there it goes bit of fluff from my clothes I think Okay, stand up and have a good look. Well, there's a lot of cells there. Okay, so let's go with the with the white now. I think. Okay. to keep that area there I'm not touching that I'm just bringing it up to it Dragging something out again. Okay. Very happy with that area. I quite want. I wanted it quite white. Just looks like a big splash 
uh, of something happening, maybe a wave coming this way, a wave up from underneath. Um, oh, that this green is just gorgeous. However, I need to do something about this area here. Definitely need to do something about that. And this area here. So I've got more of that green, which I'm going to add here now. This is a dusty teal, everybody. Just so that you know. And a little bit of that blue right there. Both transparent. The dusty teal is a yellow. Oh, wow, look at that. The dusty teal, sorry, uh, just got caught up in my own thoughts then. Um, it's a two tone powder pigment. So I am just adding a little bit of improvisation here which I love do it, doing and I'm going to do the same thing with the white that is absolutely gorgeous there gorgeous just need to add a little bit more clear here just to bring it up to that edge try not to drip now that would not be good at all Hopefully it won't mark up that area there because I quite like that. Right, let's go with the white now. I'm going to use a different stick for this white. I want to do something else. I want to do this. Now, just a little bit of tidying up. Might even use my um, airbrush here. See how I'll go here with the airbrush. This here is gorgeous. This here got moved, so I'm just gonna try and fix it up a little bit to make it like part of the story.
Wow. Okay guys, I'm super, super happy with this. I can't even tell you that the detail on here is just uh, absolutely amazing. Um, and you gotta come down and see this. You just have to. You just have to, I'm take my gloves off. Oh my goodness, crikey. This is something else. I can't believe that I created this. Alrighty. Okay, let's start from this um, bottom right corner and let's just go real kind of close so you can see all the wispies and then just go up. You can see the, the depth. Then comes some really huge big cells which just appeared just by manipulation really. And there you can see that wispy bit that, uh, of white going across uh, that blue or the clear and then you get all that stuff more cells look at that it's um, so I'm just going to cross the top part now interesting things happening there there is so much going on in here I love that uh, kind of feather feathery effect that's what I want it just reminds me of of a, a wave and a splash and then you have this stuff that's happening on the side here and the colors are not even you know coming across like they should then you have this thing I mean if you haven't done it before do do try layering you know do a couple of layers this is a third layer of oh, look at that look at that and then that here look at that so you've seen the and this like a like a foam kind of happening there you, you have seen the um, the way I did that look at this they almost look 3d um, the way I used the the heat gun, there's um, it's you know when you have a heat gun, it doesn't mean that you just kind of just blow on it or over it. There's different ways. There's kind of a choppy way, which helps to open up these um, cells. Also moves things. There's a sideways. There's a over the top. There's a real close. There's real hot. Real you know fast. This, everything gives you different kind of uh, effects and look at that I'm real happy with this one now I think I might actually try and sell this one this um this is uh, in my opinion one of uh, the better pieces that I've created that's what it happens when I get serious there we go hope you enjoyed it do let me know and uh, visit the page, the Larez Expressions page, please, because I've got some giveaways. I've got about five happening, and I probably have another five going soon. So I'm giving away the little pieces, but this one, I think I'm going to put it in the shop and try and sell it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Bye for now.